Last time we checked out the salt flats, but our day was ruined when we found out we could no longer reverse. Reverse gear, incorrect ratio. We're still in a uni trying to figure out what to do with very limited resources. So this morning it does look like we have a transmission leak here. It's uh, not the biggest tunnel, but it's coming right from the back part of the transmission, which is not where I envisioned resealing. rough morning we're having trouble finding a shop that's capable of diagnosing and possibly fixing anything with the van in this small town we're waiting out front of a lubricant place and the guy said that he does work on transmissions as well we did go to another place that has good reviews and they said they could see us at two o'clock so we're not completely out of luck but who <sighs> is Graham. First thing that we want them to do is to flush the transmission fluid and also change the filter. And then, and as they're doing that, we would like them to check the faulty, to see if there's any faulty wires. Now we have another engine code, which is for low transmission fluid. So, this is honestly like one of the ugliest towns I've ever been to. There's just dirt roads and dust everywhere. Dust and like garbage in the middle of the street. Just stray dogs everywhere. It's not, dude, you can't lick wool. It's not gonna work out for your tongue. I can't even imagine being stuck here. We'll try and stay high spirits. I'm sure if we just flush it, it's gonna be better. <laughs> So on a positive note, I am almost done with my antibiotics. Today is the last day. I After the antibiotics, I am going to start a full probiotics, two a day. So it feels good to be getting better. I just really hope that next week I don't have any symptoms. But the coolant leak looks like not too bad. We wiped it last night and there's just barely any liquid there. The level's still fine. Okay, we have made a decision. <laughs> Finding the transmission fluid that we need for the van is impossible in this tiny town. And they said it would take two days for us to get the fluid here. Can we fix the leak externally instead of internally or replacing the Part that has the leak so he fixed it externally he said it would be fine for us to drive to Chile and uh, so the biggest city in Chile is six hours and 15 minutes away from here the border is four hours away the road is not paved this is a sketchy road to begin with we cannot go in reverse but it sounds like the problem wasn't because we drove on the salt flat yeah it wasn't because of the salt flat the one last thing that kind of is influencing our decision tree is that the pet paperwork is only valid for three more days maybe two so that kind of uh, changes how long we're willing to wait for transmission fluid yeah if we can make it all the way to santiago and get it rebuilt while we can rent a place yeah. that would be much preferable and that's what we're hoping will happen yeah so the border crossing with Chile, it's a uh, reputation is the hardest border crossing in South America. We are really sliding into home base here. <laughs> the pets need to be inspected and they have all of their paperwork. We're not allowed to have any vegetables in here at all. They might even take some of our grains like rice and quinoa. We've heard a lot of people saying that they are going into your car, they're searching everywhere, they're really looking to make sure nothing is getting into Chile that's not supposed to be in Chile. Oh, not gonna lie, this has been stressful. Just can't make any mistakes. Just are we gonna make it to the next country? And we've made a mistake. So we did not take the right detour. Coming out of town, it was unmarked. And I think I found a way we can turn around here, but this is 
pretty sketchy. I did consider that, yeah, using like a hill. This is like really scary, honestly, just like, but you know, we chose this life and you gotta be brave. So, just doing our best. Unfortunately, to unwind this last move, it's gonna be another sketchy hill over here. It's not that bad going up, right? Right, yeah, go. Okay, oh, great. It's pretty nerve-wracking though. Yeah. Just really have to plan every turn. So we're passing a whole bunch of trucks and it's really scary because right after they pass we can't see anything because of the dust clouds. With the transmission in its bad state, we have to go over a 14,000 foot pass. Oh well, I guess we don't have to worry about border control taking our quinoa. Oh, what a mess. All clean. We should be coming up to the highest point pretty soon here. And then it's all downhill to Santiago, Chile. But we're not counting our chickens before they hatch. This is one of the mentally toughest days I think we've ever had. But you can't deny it's very beautiful up here. Emily was saying how this is how she imagined dog waters before we started the trip. Central America, they were pretty populated usually. Um, it's usually a river, but now it's a mountain range. And we are way out here in the middle of nowhere. 14,000 feet, glacier right here. It takes the edge off a little bit, except for difficulty on the engine. Just past the turn off to the Laguna route, a really awesome area in Southern Bolivia. But super cold, snow on the ground, and obviously we can't make it with the current state of the van. But looks like a really beautiful turn off there. Bolivia Chile border. I already got stamped out. Now we're canceling the permiso de vehículo. <laughs> we are out of Bolivia. We were there for less than a month, so not too bad. But yeah, we also were able to change some Bolivianos into pesitos. We're almost technically across the border. Yeah, right we're up. driving over to Chile right now and I'm just, I mean, at least half the work's done. We're out of Bolivia, so that's cool. But we only have an hour left. Wow, so we can tell you, this is the border. This little shack. <laughs> oh, let's see how the road quality changes. Ooh, that's nice. Look, Look at, at that. border. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Chile, here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
so I got randomly selected, so we gotta wait <laughs> 15 minutes before we can do anything. Kinda sucks, but we have 50 minutes, 53 minutes. Negative. So now we can do our paperwork and the car's paperwork and get to Chile. Might be the most exciting boarding crosser, border boarding crosser. <laughs> oh my gosh, this Boat might crosses. be the most exciting border crossing yet because we're just so stoked to be in Chile. We've heard so many good things, and honestly, border not that bad. <laughs> not that bad, as you can tell. It's nighttime now. <laughs> yeah, I think they gave us some leniency because we came so late. They wanted to go home. I know every other border we were like let's get there you know as soon as they open but lately we've done three borders in like the middle of the day night right before they close and honestly it's worked out pretty well because then they're just like shuffle through shuffle through honestly the trunk is like full of stuff you know and he just like was like oh what's this and it's like a tote full of things that i have to remove five things to get out and he was just like okay cool <laughs> <laughs> Whenever border crossing people look in your van, you don't really like show them where things are. You kind of just like let them wander around. And I was kind of afraid once we told them like we're unable to reverse like, oh great, they're going to bring this junker into Chile. Actually, the guy right after I said that, he said, oh, your van doesn't work? And I was like, no, it works great. It's just a little teeny problem with the reverse. <laughs> I can't believe how nice they were because Honestly, I was worried they were going to be sticklers about everything. I know, That's yeah. That's what it sounded like from everybody on iOverlander. Everybody said, like, this is the worst border crossing ever. But honestly, they were very, very nice to us. They wanted to pet some Rita and Graham, and they were excited to see them both. We came with all of the paperwork. People have wrote, you need the paperwork, and we believe them, and we came with it. And that's all you, you have to just respect them, you know? You have to have the things you need if you need them. And his face, when I said we had pets, was like frown. Yeah. When I said we had papers, smile. Yeah, oh he was like, I just need copies of this. And I was like, all right, yeah, I have the copies already. <laughs> Stapled together for you, my man. I'll feel a lot better when we get the vans, transmission, worked on, you know, but for now, it just feels good to be in Chile. Like, if something goes wrong, we're gonna tell them we're in Chile. You know? <laughs> yeah, the healthcare system's better here, and the food safety's higher. We don't see anything yet. This border is in the middle of absolutely nowhere. So we'll let you know, I guess, in the next couple of days when we actually get somewhere good, how it differs from the other countries we've been to in South America so far. Chile, let's go get some. Service. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us in Chile. Stay with us to find out what happens with our transmission in this saga, trying to get back into reverse. If you like this video, make sure to share it. And if you want to support us a little more, check out our Patreon. We'll see you guys next time.